are we friends then if the only time we talk is because I texted you? It's like I have spent the first two years of my 20s unpacking trauma. I'm figuring out that everything is wrong with me, like right here. Like I'm thinking that we are on a giant rock that is spinning and we choose to wake up every day and work. Hey guys. This is a weird video that I'm doing today, but I honestly want to look back on it. So I want to talk it out. I want to talk it out with myself and post it. And nobody's probably going to watch it, but I'm still going to post a second to look back on it because I like looking back at how far I've come. So <sighs> am I the only one whose 20s have been absolutely disgusting and absolutely depressing and <laughs> If this what growing up was, but if I knew, I just would have not came to the universe. I just wouldn't have came. I would have opted out. And I don't know what's going on with me, but ever since I entered my 20s, which was two years ago, because I'm 22, no, it has been terrible. It has been so brutal. And I just don't know why it's been brutal. Like just emotionally, it's been brutal. It's like, dude, I like nothing about myself. Like sure, I see that I'm accomplishing stuff I've always wanted to, but I'm not even as happy as I thought I would be. For example, law school. I should be looking forward to it, but I am nervous as heck. And I know that that could just be like imposter syndrome, just doubt. But it's like, I just feel terrible. Or let's say graduating. That shit was so hard and after dude i don't even want to go to the graduation i'm not even going and i know that that's so bad because i didn't even go to my high school graduation and i feel like i'm missing milestones but then i'm also like am i just gonna go for one second to stress myself out to walk across the stage for one minute i'm just gonna go buy clothes to wear for one second event but then it's like you work for that but then it's like why does the work have to show by the one second walk across the stage and then it's like i'm like don't even judge me but i feel like everything is wrong with the world like i don't like that many people like friends that i absolutely loved and adored it's just that i don't know if i'm seeing them for what they are or if it's I was blind or if they've always been like this because it's like hang out with somebody and you're just so drained you're just like why am I here the conversations are terrible I don't want to talk about boys I don't find that interesting I don't find that adding to my life in any sort of way <laughs> and that's not even the tip of the iceberg of that topic but I don't know my 20s have just been so bad like figuring and i tried to be happy y'all i literally was like you know what i'm so depressed i'm going to go and empty my life savings on a trip i'm gonna go travel from i was supposed to travel for one whole year before law school you know what i'm gonna go travel and de-stress because i realized that i have been in survival trauma mode all my life like i've been dealing with shit constantly like constantly and i was like you know what let me take a break from this shit okay so before i went on this trip seven months ago i was so depressed and creating has always been some an outlet for me so i've always made youtube videos since i was 12 years old i've just never been consistent and after those channels would start getting traction i would just delete them i'll just self-sabotage because i'm like why are you people watching my videos but um it's like i've kept track of life through journaling and creating videos but I've, it's like is it because i've just been so traumatized and my 20s have been like healing i've been trying to unpack what i've been through the bads the good the ugly and finding who i even am without that trauma like defining myself not by what happened to me but what i am but then who am i what do i like to do besides reading books and making videos absolutely nothing okay i like to work out but like outside of that i hate crowds i don't like being around people i everybody thinks i'm so sociable and funny but i don't like being around anybody and it's 
me being funny is my anxiety acting out. <laughs> like I'm being funny and people are thinking, oh my gosh, she's so funny, but it's like, I'm suffocating. Oh, this really sounds so bad. And I hope nobody I know comes across this video because it sounds terrible, but it's like, I'm constantly suffocating. I don't like people being around me literally there's only one person on the entire universe that i can stand and i think the only reason why we thrive and i can stand them is because most of the time we're not even talking like <laughs> is that bad like we are fine in, in, our, in our own silence we're fine doing our own thing and she just doesn't stress me out in the same way that keeping up conversations about mundane things and i know this channel is about mundane like just normal life but i just don't want to talk about aimless things i don't want to talk about instagram models i don't care for them i don't follow for them i don't even know their names i'm i'm just trying to thrive i'm 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 and what am i even trying to thrive why would i want to thrive here like i'm thinking that we are on a giant rock that is spinning and we choose to wake up every day and work and i feel like the reason why i see it this way is because i saw something else those seven months of traveling and just seeing a different side seeing what other people live their life like you know people will make africa seem like oh my god it's like the jungle and it's terrible but dude i was depressed here when i went to africa y'all it was like the depression left okay the the depression left i'm telling you i had no money first of all because obviously i was spending it um but like i was not like living lavish i was living in pretty affordable housing and having fun most of the time i was like sitting under a tree just thinking um but the people are just so much nicer people are actually people it's not go 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 hustle 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 get money get money get money get money it's like there's actually life outside of work and these people work hard like these people work hard like it gave me a very much different perspective of what hard work is because these people work hard and these people live their life like their life does not revolve around work 24 7 now when i think about it i've never taken a break i have huge blocks of memory just missing and it's like my life just starts somewhere and that's so sad to me but besides that it's like okay in high school I, I was constantly go 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 i wasn't like thinking of taking breaks i was i took summer school the entire time university took summer school the entire time working multiple jobs i just never had the time to just sit there with myself by myself go okay, well, by myself yeah but sit there with myself with my emotions with my feelings and then okay cool graduation and then pandemic hit and then here now i am forced to face myself i'm forced to face what is wrong with me and then just figure out that everything is wrong with me like everything is wrong with me from like mental health to self-image to just terrible self-esteem issues to like terrible terrible trauma to things that didn't have to happen the way that they happened to like church trauma to like kid trauma and then it's just like i'm just sitting there and i just feel so infested with bullshit that i don't even know what to do with myself and the reason why i'm so nervous is because i'm constantly so sad it's so hard for me to do anything it's so hard for me to get out of bed and, and i'm like how am i going to get back into go 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 constantly like i have come to a point where it's impossible for me to shut off my brain and shut off my thoughts and it's like i have spent the first two years of my 20s unpacking trauma and unpacking and unlearning things that were not okay like I, why am i going to a camera but you know what i don't want to get emotional about it but it's like the rock is spinning like who woke up and created time zones who just woke up and, and and said that we're going to work monday to friday just who woke up and decided that to even mean anything in life you need to go get a job who even like do i even want children like i don't even want children because i don't want to cause my children pain i i don't want them to have to heal from having me as a parent so why would i do that why would i bring a human being into this sort of life where they're going to be faced with so much and they're hardly equipped to deal with it i might even equipped as a parent to deal with it then it's like okay cool i can adopt but then either way you're that 
risk is still there and they're like okay yeah i don't have kids but then it's like okay if you don't have kids then does your life have meaning but then again why is kids the only way women can have meaning in their life like how about getting meaning for my job but then as you heard me say we why i literally also ask the question of why is it work 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 so it's like i don't have answers to a lot of questions that i have so many dilemmas and i don't know if anybody else deals with this like being an extreme people pleaser is a whole other problem that i didn't even realize i had till i just looked back on my life and i realized Okay, I've always been thinking, oh my god, I don't want to hurt my friend's feelings, so I won't even say, don't do this to me because I, I don't hurt your feelings. That I never even sat down to ask myself, do I even like you? Do I even like being around you? Are you even adding anything into my life? That's when I realized that, like, almost 100% of the friendships that I had in a certain period added absolutely nothing to my life. It was me adding to their life. It was me doing their homework, helping them with assignments, giving them study materials. Ah, uh, okay, what else is there? Okay, talk about boys' school, okay, go eat, okay, and then, like there was just no depth to them. And, and, and on top of it, it's me starting these conversations to begin with. <sighs> so then I'm like, are we friends then? If the only time we talk is because I texted you, so then I stopped texting them. Then I just realized that all this dead weight fell off. And as much as I just called it dead weight, and I truly felt bad that, okay, wow, you're not even gonna try to text me. As much as I felt really bad about that, I was like, damn, I wasn't even worth a text this whole time. I wasn't even worth like checking on. Like, so then I realized, damn, you just wasted five years of your life being friends with this person. Or somebody you've been friends with, like, since you guys were kids. And they're talking about you in a way that is so disgusting. Or because you don't like to talk about boys with them, now that's a problem. Or the competition nature that women have. And it's like, why can't we just help each other thrive? Why does it matter that I don't like to dress like that to you? Why does that affect your life? Or why does it affect like y'all see where i'm going with this this eyelash keeps getting stuck to my eye but y'all see where i'm actually going with this it's like i have every problem on the, on the damn universe but then i truly do hope that your 20s get better if anybody comes across this video the one thing i want you to do if you are over 20 let me know if it truly gets better because if it doesn't i'm just gonna off myself and just get over with it because i also thought about um that model that killed herself i don't know what her name was um made me think a lot damn by the time i'm 30 i'll definitely be a lawyer I'll, I'll be a couple years into into my profession um but will i be happy then just asking myself okay like i first want to tell people this is something i've looked forward to since i was literally a fetus since i could even understand what that even was but are you telling me that i'm gonna get there and i'm not even gonna be happy which is why i oftentimes try to be happy in their moment but i've been finding it so hard and while I've been making this video, I realized that my feelings of sadness, extreme sadness started pandemic. Because I was like, yeah, my 20s. And I realized that I'm 22. Right? So then I, 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 I realized that I've been in the pandemic most of my 20s. So I don't know if it's pandemic or are these real issues that people ask themselves um but as i end this video i would like to preface it by saying <sighs> at the end of it all i'm pretty happy that i do have one good friend okay um she's my literal heart and reason is i've been pretty terrible these last two years uh as a result of being just so sad i feel like i've been crying a lot I, I i just feel like i've been probably pretty hard to be around because a few weeks ago i think three weeks ago um i woke up and i go to her and i'm like the earth is spinning like why are we here <laughs> then i stop crying like like profusely crying like a lot and i'm literally crying about why am i on earth 
because it's spinning. Like, I can't even tell you what that was about. I'm going <laughs> crazy. But, um, it's either I'm depressed, it's either I'm crazy, or I'm enlightened. So, please let me know what the heck is wrong with me. Anyways, uh, I'm done. I'm, I'm just done the vent. I hope I can have some of the answers to these questions one day in the years to come. Um, yeah, but if you do find this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video, which is probably not this kind of video, but yeah, just subscribe and we'll have some good times together.